All right, everyone. I know it's been a while since I've done a video. Uh, I figured I'd take this opportunity, since the motor just came out for some new pistons, to talk about the clutch. Uh, that's what I'm running in there. It's a six-puck ceramic sprung hub. I would have gone for solid, but it's not available. Uh, this is the strongest clutch I can find uh, that will actually fit a uh, Ford 300. It's good for about 650 foot-pounds of torque. So this isn't going to last much longer. I'll have to convert to an automatic, but for now it does the job so uh, what you need to know if you do have a five speed and you plan on running one of these clutches um, that clutch is only available for the 93 to 96 model 300s so what you gotta do it's a brand new slave from a 93 to 96 the previous generation will not work it is too long and doesn't allow the clutch to fully engage um, it's mostly bolt in you do need to change the two mounting bolts on it and one other modification that I didn't find out until I got it in the ends look very similar but right there the actual hydraulic fitting where your line goes in is different between the generations so you actually have to file the housing down right where that hydraulic fitting goes in you can see the little uh, little hole right there for the spring pin um, you got to file down the housing to be able to get the old fitting in there far enough to get the pin back through. Um, again, if you're going to do this swap, everything has to be from a 93 to 96 as far as your clutch, slave, clutch, all that. The other thing, if you do not have the dual pattern flywheel, most of the 300s use that hole right there for mounting. It's only a 10 and a half inch clutch. The 93 to 96 is an 11. So you got to move to this one. The bolts are a little bit bigger, so you will have to get a longer one uh, from the hardware store to change those out. I haven't had any problems with mine. I do 3,500 RPM clutch drop for my launch without even a slip in a tire on the drag radials. So in any case, uh, the motor is finally out, and we're going to send the rods out to get machined for these new pistons. Once that's done, uh, we're going to put it back in and see if we can't make uh, about 800 foot-pounds of torque out of this thing. So, until next time, enjoy your day.